Hello everyone. I'm feeling a little nostalgic. Sorry it's not I'm gonna start a playthrough of Oblivion just cause uh it's been a long time. So let's get started. Like this takes me all the way back to high school. Dating myself a little bit there. For 65 years, I've Is Patrick Stewart 87? Is he older than that now? For all these years, I've That'd be funny. Been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom. Ah, this fucking land. blew my mind back when this came out. Cause I played the hell out of Morrowind. And then this came out. And like... Revolutionary. Like I remember looking forward to it, reading all the articles this and stuff. Of last all of Todd Howard's talk about like the Radiant AI and everything. These are the closing days like, of the third era. The final hours. Todd's always been a bit of a shyster, but... God damn, was it hype. Like, it looks a little dated now, but God, when this came out, it was amazing like to have the kind of draw distance to see mountains that far out and it's not the skybox that you could actually just go there like it's not the first to do something like that but god it was impressive alright now for character creation I'll be quick about this now on one hand I could play up the my dinosaur ancestors in being Argonian. But you know what? You humans aren't always compelled to play as gorillas and stuff, so I think dark elves are cool as hell. Like Morrowind was my intro to Elder Scrolls and The Dunmer have always been cool. Eh, it kind of resembles my feathers. Charcoal black. Eh, face. I'm a crow. I need a beak. Where's the... Come on, mouse wheel. Nose, there we go. There needs to be a beak on this boy. There we go. <laughs> That's a beak to be proud of. But he's not quite grumpy enough. Oh, that's eyes, not eyebrows. Forehead. No, where's eyebrows? There we go. Brow. Needs to be grumpier. There we go. That's a suitably grumpy and crow-like Dunmer. Right there. And of course, it's me, Crow D. Boom. There we go. Not spending like 40 minutes in the character creator like so many people do. Alright. I don't need no shirt. Paints. Look at that. Oh, and I do have a couple of mods installed. This is going to be mostly vanilla, but the mods I installed are just tweaking the way level scaling works and combat because uh, in totally vanilla Oblivion, level scaling gets kind of dumb. And one of the big problems was like 
artifacts and stuff not scaling with you, so if you get them at a low level, it's a waste. That's what that's for. So say I get gold brand at a low level, I can use this guy to make it level up with me. So I don't have to intentionally not get things to avoid the level scaling BS. Who's coming? Patrick Stewart! No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What is doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. The usual mix up with the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Okay, geez, man. God, I've heard this intro so many damn times. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. <laughs> you are the one from my dreams. Really? You must have some really weird dreams. This is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on, on buddy? Attack my sons. And I am next. That fucking sucks. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Must I? Why am I even here? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we like, may meet. I meant to keep it my head down. Done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Hear that? I just got a pardon. Uh, okay, cool. Bye. So do we all. <laughs> but what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. Hmm? I pushed a button on accident. Oops. You didn't see nothing. Hehe. <laughs> Bone. Boop. Guess I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, that's a very terrible rendition of the who i'm not a good singer whatever so uh guys where are we going okay you have fun with that guys uh i'll watch his back Oh, that sucks. Got any goodies? Yoink. I'll take that. You guys have any goodies on you? Yes, you do. Boink. Eh. I'm not into axes. Dark elves use swords. Got. I'll take that. 
bow could prove useful. Yoink. All right, let's put that up. Oops. I can hotkey things. What was the button to hot? Okay. That'll be my sword. That'll be my bow. All right. Boop. Now that was mind blowing back in 2004, wasn't it? I think it was 2004 when this came out. But like that, bam. And the arrow punching through a little bit, that was like mind blowing. And so it was like, Physics. Again, for an RP, like Half Life 2 was the mind blowing one with physics in general, but this was like the first, like, full blown RPG. Or was it Dark Messiah? Shit, that's a game to play. Later. Alright. So we got here. Substantial armor. And more arrows. I'm a heavy armor kind of guy. Oop. There we go. That's a handsome looking dark elf right there in armor. The ragdoll and these guys. The variety of the zombie models. God, that was great back then. Like, this really was just a revolutionary game. For all its faults and foibles, it was good. See what we got here. Potions and picks. And yeah, it's got its go. It's a Bethesda game. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a Bethesda game that doesn't have scuff. Well, made by Bethesda, not produced. Like, I don't think Todd's crew had anything to do with Doom 2016. Brain bucket. Don't eat cheese you find on the ground. In video games, it doesn't matter, but don't eat floor cheese. I will say there's a lot of stuff from Morrowind that got that didn't get included in Oblivion that I really miss. Mostly with the magic system. Like your mark and recall and intervention spells, levitation. 
Like, I get why they removed them because of, like, engine limitations and stuff. And optimizing, like, the closed cell cities, but... Yeah. Then again, like, the combat in this is much more energetic than Morrowind's. No barely disguised dice rolls here. Boop. Because for... What a lot of people don't realize about Morrowind is the entire game system is kind of a rip of... I think it was... I think it's GURPS. It's basically a, a modified copy off of a tabletop roll under percentile system. Yeah. Don't need no fancy pants. Sneak. See him on fire. And alchemy. Pretty heavily nerfed compared to Morrowind just because Morrowind's alchemy was well, frankly, ludicrous. But alchemy is still like a top tier skill. Hey, buddy. Physics traps. Uh. You're supposed to fall too. And so are you. <laughs> they got stuck in the ceiling. Take those back. That making lockpicking a mini game. That was cool. Getting the skeleton key done kind of invalidates it because it's unbreakable, so you can just spam, like, auto pick until it works. Well, hey, you buddies. What you doing? Here you go. <laughs> I'll take those. Boop. Boop. I should have had to keep my magic too. Yeah. Four will be heal. Five will be fire. There we go. Now I'm feeling. Boop. Boop. Can't block fire. All right. Boop. I am not fast enough to dodge. Get over here. Head on a stick. Anything magic, anything light. That's the ideal loot.
All right, let's. Oh, I never put on my bucket. All right, let's. <laughs> uh, that's bad luck for you. Okay. And I'm moving pretty slow. What's my speed? Hmm. Must be the armor. There. <sighs> See where we going. Hey guys! Oh, nope. That's not me. Oh. I'm not gonna charge in, because they might suspect me of something. Um, hey guys. Oh, hey no. Hey no. No, no, no. See? Listen to the boss man. I don't like you walking towards me. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. I don't get it either, but I'll take How it. can I explain? Listen. Dude, you're the emperor. You don't need to explain shit. You just tell them to not kill me. Uh, I don't know. Lord, the gods are going to do god things. My days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, mm -hmm. and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Ah, uh, yes. Now see, the ones that increase your attributes are tempting. But you can get those boosts through leveling up. The minor powers are neat. But nothing spellcasting can't do. And I don't really like things with trade-offs. So I'm going to be using magic. That means that good, safe option. You can't get that through leveling up, and there's no downsides. Like, this seems great until you realize your magicka doesn't regenerate on its own. So you're either relying on potions or eating spells to the face. I don't like that. So we'll go with the mage. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the mage shall light your way on the paths of glory. Yeah, so you're just kind of cool with dying? The trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Well, that's a good attitude Men to have. But flesh and blood, they know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. If it's really only a blessing fit, if then th it's that far out, like... My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Like, if you know the hour of your death, and it's like, death, at 28 face, choking on a Dorito, that's not really a blessing. Glory may banish the I mean, I suppose you could try to avoid the Dorito, but then the that's not really a prediction I anymore. That's just a delusion. Hmm. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me. You can really tell Patrick Stewart was a Shakespearean actor. He's loving those lines. You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Okay. Stick close and let us do our Do you have anything fancy on him? Nope. You 
you know, I like wearing hoods, but I uh, don't want you uh, confusing me for one of them. That'd be kind of dumb. Top off. You guys realize there's just like free shit all over the place around here. <laughs> Protect the Emperor as he charges into a knife fight. Oh, you guys got that. This can only lead to your death. Protect the Emperor. None. Oh, I'll take that. Scooby doo doo. The light's coming out of those two holes, straight down. Why is the scent brightest part right there? Like, these wouldn't cone out. They would leave, like, squares of light. Oh. Again. Oh, I'm sorry. Th what were were we doing things? I was just wondering at like how weird the light is. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sir. Wait here with the emperor. Guard him with your life. You okay. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Uh, why me? Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Who the hell's Joffrey? Him and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. Well, shit. You see that shit? Don't mind me. Hey, I'm I'm a crow. I scavenge. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. That sucks. The Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Um, he. Gave it to me. He saw something in you, trusted you. Okay, cool. You you aren't don't think I stole it. Awesome. The veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it. They say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Uh, he said some Joffrey dude. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Apparently he's got a bastard. So Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. 
That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Yeah, that didn't work too well. You'll need this key for the last one to the sewers. Sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced archer. Am I right? How the hell did you get that idea? It... Uh, I I'm mostly do face-to-face -face fighting. Uh... We'll do those. All right. Now, blade, block, heavy armor for my face to face fight. Alchemy and armorer for support. And where is it? There we go. I like utility spells like alteration. And well, a zappy zap spawn. That's pretty good all around. Battle mage, I guess. Uh, well, I am a corvid. Not to be confused with the uh, bug of recent times. Corvid, as in a Corvus cord. Corvid. I'm a crow. <laughs> yes. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't get You weren't far off. I I didn't pick a bow. <laughs> okay, whatever. You then must what? get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Sure. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. And you? Are you going to help me out at all? Oh. You make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering my comrade's swords. I'll see that they are given a place of honor in the halls of the blades. Ah, uh, you weren't going to let me get away with that. Oh, the, the DLC notices. The uh, hell. Alright, well, you took those fancy swords, I guess I'll <laughs> use this little thing. Ooh, throw my little. Look at my little stable sword. Ah. It's like something a halfling would use. Alright. Yeah. More DLC. <laughs> Just imagine this in person. Like, you get through all this, and all of a sudden, a bunch of keys and letters fall on your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do my stats look like now? Eh, pretty good. Armor blade two. All in all, not bad. Okay. Hello, Gabo. There we go. Boop boop. Eh, it doesn't want anything. Might as well take it. Anything else in here? Ha! More free shit. Is that a chest? More arrows and lockpicks. What's in here? Flower. Cheese. That's a lot of cheese. 
<laughs> but I'm not eating no strange cheese I found in the sewer. <laughs> oh, and he catch them right as they jump. Uh, let's get a shield out. You know, I can. We'll just say Boris took those off. There we go. No longer a prisoner. Oh, you're not aggressive. See, I've always had a soft had a soft spot for rats, like. Back when I had the space and time to take care of them, I had pet rats. Not like sewer rats, but like get them at a pet store rats. Very awesome animals to have as pets. Like a lot of personality to them. They're like little tiny dogs. And we're done. Alright. We have finished up our little pre- wonder how many more of those there are. <laughs> are we good? Yeah, not going to interrupt me anymore? Okay. As I was saying, that finishes up our little intro. And I suppose we can start on our glorious adventure next time. But, till then, have a good one.